Dali, ah. Hi, good afternoon. Wait, ah. Dali, ah. We'll go live. All right. All right. Good afternoon, di, uh, Dito. How are you? I'm good, Anton. Okay lang ikaw. Kumusta? Okay naman. So we have a, a spe- very special topic today, which is detox, detoxification. And uh, siguro uh, my first encounter with detoxification nung before we got married with, uh, with Rach. Uh, sa ano pa yun? The farm. Matagal na matagal na sa the farm. And then... Siguro ma couple years ago sa nurtures pa and then recently you know I underwent this uh, 28 day detox sa uh, Yoli. So I'm really interested how does uh, the detox happen uh, oh. talaga and uh, especially la- a lot of people are at home can you do detox ba at home uh, parang ganun. Ikaw what's right. your experience with the ano, detox? Yeah so these are the the questions that I were excited to ask the our guest today no. Ako naman ang experience ko with a detox. The first time I've heard of a detoxification was actually when I uh, had the heart attack in 2010. And when I had that heart attack, I was the, my doctor recommended after my stent that I do a regular detox. Meaning, uh, I think it was quarterly when I started. Actually, I'm still doing it wow. quarterly. And I'm doing a quarterly detox because of that. But then uh, I had like other issues with my uh, fatty liver. Uh, I really had to detox um, in process. So today, we're, wow. we're really excited to have Dr. Joel Lopez. No? He's a uh, born and raised proud Pinoy, finished his pre-med in Manila, but left for the U.S. to complete his residency program in inter- internal medicine at the Mercy Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. So after completing his training, he pursued studies in complementary and alternative medicine and eventually got board certified in nutrition and anti-aging and regenerative medicine. This was when he was trained together with some of the pioneers in that field sa US, Anton. So talagang okay tong guest natin today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. So as a pioneer himself, he's one of the first doctors in San Francisco, California, who incorporated functional medicine into his practice in the early 2000s. So I'm excited kasi alam mo, he brought his practice back in the in the Philippines in 2013. And I'm pr- proud to be one of his first friends in the Philippines because I was the one who designed his first clinic in BGC. So he's one of the founding members of PRIMA, which stands for, for Preventive, Regenerative, Integrative Medical Association. So now they're a group of medical doctors whose goal is to bring their specialties into the mainstream and establish standards for its practice. He is the medical doc- director of J-, uh, J. Lopez MD. So welcome everyone to our awesome me live chat with Dr. Joel Lopez. All right, welcome. Good Hi. afternoon, Good Doc. How are you today? Okay, Doc. <laughs> okay so, siguro to start off our discussion, Doc, um, can you explain to us what is detoxification and purpose of detoxification? Before you answer, we like to welcome those people watching this in replay and those watching it in live today. If you have any questions, you can just put it in the comments. We'll try to answer it during this live show. Or if you're watching this in replay, we'll answer the question pa rin, uh, if you put it in the comments. Okay, so Doc Joel, um, so what's the purpose of detoxification? And yeah, why do we off, not... Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. So detoxification consists of a lot of bodily processes that happen uh, basically to help get rid of toxins that we encounter in our environment, as well as those produced from internal metabolism. So these toxins basically poison our physiological processes. So it's really necessary to get rid of those. So uh, may side effects ba ang detoxification or wala? <clears throat> Yeah, there are side effects to detoxification. So if you do it too quick, people do feel bad. They feel like lethargic. They may sometimes get headaches, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. So ideally, it has to be medically supervised. But there are actually 
uh, detoxification procedures that you can do at home. But mm -hmm. um, ideally, you, you may want to consult with your doctor if you have uh, comorbidities such as hypertension, diabetes, cancer, or other chronic degenerative diseases. Oh, dito, say so yan. Yeah, <laughs> ako yun, ako yun. So being my, my doctor, my first wellness doctor, uh, Joel, um, I wanted to ask, saan ba nangyayari in detoxification? Where does it occur in our body? Which organ is responsible for the detoxification? And how do we detox that organ if, so that it functions better? Yeah, well, may, the major detoxification organ in the body is our liver. So there are two phases. One is um, involves one is called the phase one, which is primarily um, involving the biotransformation of toxins, which results in free radicals. So sometimes, if the phase two or the conjugation process isn't uh, that healthy, it may actually lead to more problems. So this phase one and phase two. Um, the detoxification processes have to be in balance. Uh, in short, mm -hmm. basically with phase one, you could develop further toxins. You could generate free radicals when you do the phase one. So that's why you have to do the phase two, which makes it water soluble. Uh, that makes the toxins um, excreted through the urine or the bile. Okay, I'm gonna busy. I'm gonna. I'm going to be very busy later to Google all of those, but. Uh, buti lang, this is recorded so I can go back to it. So, mm -hmm. alam mo, Doc, um, I think now I understand why my doctor told me that after my heart attack and my stent being installed that I had to go through a detox because mm -hmm. I remember at the time I had the fatty liver. Could, yung fatty okay. liver, ko ba, was that something that was preventing me from detoxing properly? Oh, oh. Yeah, well, ideally, uh, you shouldn't have any fat in your liver. So when it replaces the liver cells, it could actually interfere with the detoxification process. And our liver is part of our, um, basically it's part of our intestinal tract. So it helps in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fat, and proteins. So if our liver is unhealthy, then these toxins are not able to uh, go to the colon with where it's eventually uh, excreted, excreted, yes. Okay, so how do we maintain a healthy liver, Doc? Ano ba yung mga kailangan namin gawin? Yeah, there are things uh -huh. that a person could do, like starting with the diet. So basically, we got to stay away from simple carbs. Because um, what happens if you have simple carbs, and a lot of it, uh, it could lead to a fatty liver, which could interfere with your liver function. Other things that you could do to help improve your liver function include the use of uh, NAC, uh, N-acetylcysteine, which is an antioxidant. It's also a precursor to glutathione. Okay. So glutathione is also something that we produce internally. However, as we age, we produce less and less of it. So glutathione, there's also something, uh, well, green tea also helps improve liver function. And other um, Chinese herbs such as shisandra, as well as curcumin. I think uh, more people are familiar with curcumin, which, by the way, also has antiviral properties. So question, uh, Doc. Yeah, yeah you mentioned simple, simple carbs. Ano yeah, so rice, uh, desserts? Yeah basically, yeah, basically food that has less fiber in it. So like white rice, white bread, white flour products. So the more fiber that um, carbohydrate has, the better it will be able to control your blood sugar. Okay. Okay, so ibig sabihin, Doc, ano? Uh, fiber meaning um, brown rice, red rice. And Are basically vegetables, carbs? vegetables and vegetables. fruits, nuts and legumes. So these are things that are a good source of soluble and insoluble fiber. Okay. okay. Doc, I have a stupid question. Okay. Uh, Kasi you're in the, in the field of regeneration or regenerative medicine. Does our bodies, do our bodies have the capacity to go on auto, an autopilot detox? Meaning, kahit na hindi natin alam that it's happening, uh, our body is deciding to go on a detox because it's parang fending off some disease or some uh, virus. 
Yeah, actually, that's the beauty of the body. It is really um, versatile. So it can do anything, especially when we're still young. All these um, uh, processes go on automatically without much uh, problems. But as we age, uh, the detoxification processes tend to slow down. And um, things that could contribute to these are exposure to a lot of toxins in the environment, as well as metabolic toxins that we produce inside our bodies. So um, as we age, we really have to uh, assist this organs of detoxification. Uh, and it could be done at home through the use of medical foods, as well as fasting. Medical foods, um, it could uh, it could come from like certain companies, like uh, you know about them. Uh, so this could really help with the uh, deto detoxification process, as well as weight loss, because one of the symptoms of uh, toxicity is weight gain. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, uh, right. So. Typically, um, are there natural ways to detox ba your body at home? Or uh, how, how, how would you know that your body is detoxing or, in, make, or induce that detoxification for your body? Yeah, natural ways to detox include, like I said, uh, fasting. And some people could do water fast, juice fast, or just ab abstain from certain uh, foods like meat products, uh, that are actually more pro-inflammatory. Uh, how long do exercise? Do how long do you fasting? I just wanted to ask more details lang on fasting. Yeah, some people are able to tolerate only a day or so, but uh, there are people who've gone uh, fasting for up to forty days. S but so when you say fasting, water lang talaga, ganon, water lang talaga, and no solid. Yeah, some people do just water alone. Some people do like juice fast. And some okay. people do just abstain from meat products. What, what's your recommended duration? Um, you have to do it slowly because sometimes if people do the detox fast, they could um, experience unpleasant symptoms such as headaches or um, just feeling fatigue or tired in general. So mm -hmm. maybe start slowly like skipping a meal or some people do intermittent fasting. That's another way of um, doing uh, detox. Uh, wow, you know, okay. detox? Anong mo? Or, uh, Actually, you know detox? what? I wanted to ask nga that question about uh, yung when our body's detoxing. Because I want to understand how do we actually know that our bodies are detoxing? Because like you said, Doc, uh, we would need to have, uh, as we age, and we're all going, going to age, um, mm -hmm. we need science already to assist us, Deva. Right? So it's it was yeah. like before when we were kids, na our our detoxification goes on autopilot. So mm -hmm. how do we know that our body still have that capacity to detox on its own when we're aging? So are there like tests to do that? Yeah, some people could just do the simple like liver function test or kidney function test. But available now are what we call functional testing. So through these labs, we're able to find out how the phase one or phase two of liver detoxification is happening. So these labs are available now in the Philippines. But uh, I take that back. Actually, they have, they're just middlemen. They collect the sample, but they oh. uh, send it to the States or uh, in Europe. And it wow. could be either through the blood, urine sample, or hair samples. Does your clinic do those tests and then you send them out? Yeah, we actually would. We actually work with companies that do those functional tests. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so after we get the results, then we discuss the program with the client because there are certain detoxification um, procedures for certain toxicities. Like for instance, if a person has heavy metal toxicity, like mm -hmm. if they have like excess lead or mercury, then we may oh. recommend something called chelation therapy, which can be done intravenously through suppositories. Or if people are afraid of needles, they could just take natural chelating agents. This include like vitamin C uh, and garlic, cilantro, onions, and mm -hmm. chlorella. So these are just a few of the things that people could do orally to get rid of um, heavy metals from their system. 
So, Anton, yung tanong mo sa akin kanina, I've actually done chelation at the clinic of Dr. Joel Lopez before, uh, before pa. So, masakit. Uh, those... Parang masakit. Ah. It sounded... <laughs> Pero alam mo kasi ako, good soldier ako, pagka kahit na masakit siya, alam kong gagaling ako, gagawin ko siya eh. So, I... I wanted that better life for myself. So I did whatever my doctor said and I trusted, I believed. Look at me now. So I'm ha we're happy to just share this uh, platform with everyone and with Doc, Doc Joel helping us out. No? So, ano ba ba? Ano ba yung tanong? Uh, I wanted to ask intermittent fasting. Is there a proper way to do it ba? Or the science behind intermittent fasting, Doc Joel? Yeah, because actually a lot of the energy that we expend on a daily basis is um, spent on digestion. So it's important to give our bodies a break, and that's what you could do when you're doing intermittent fasting. So some people are able to do only like eight hours. Uh, some people are able to do more. And during this time period that you're eating, you still have to choose the right foods. You cannot just eat anything uh, during those periods that uh, the, the time period that you can eat. It's still essential that you choose the right foods. So what's the recommended uh, time? Ba? May, is there an, uh, your fasting? 8, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours? Yeah. Some, people, yeah, some people start with only 8 hours, then gradually increase it up to 12 or 12 to 14 hours per day. Okay. And then uh, you only take water during those times, during your fasting. Or pwede rin ba yung coffee or other products? Yeah, good question. Um, ideally, just drink water during those uh, periods that you're off eating. Uh, some people may try like uh, certain drinks like green tea to help in the detoxification process. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, so so Anton, actually, I wanted to ask Doc Joel, no? um, because we discussed already yung mga foods na, uh, that can help us do a detox. <clears throat> yung mga plant-based uh, plant recipes ba or nutrition, are those helpful in detoxing? <coughs> yeah, actually, they are because this plant, uh, plant-based foods basically are sources of our vitamins, minerals, um, enzymes, probiotics, and uh, all the nutrients that we need to detoxify. Um, vitamins are important, but minerals are even more important, if I may say so, because vitamins won't work without these minerals. They're what we mm -hmm. call cofactors. So in the absence of, vi of minerals, some of your our vitamins won't work at all. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's a good enough. Anton, baka do we do we have questions? Uh, wala, walang ano lang, best doctor ever. Maraming mga <laughs> fancy doc. Maraming fancy doc na nanood. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, siguro um, to close our conversation. So, uh, how what's the frequency, what's the recommended frequency ba of detoxification that you should do within a year? Yeah. If a person's relatively healthy, sometimes oh, I may yes. recommend twice a year of detoxific detoxification, primarily during spring or fall. So, Doc, that's yeah, when so you're healthy. That's when you're healthy. Uh, uh, because during winter and summer, that's when we build up all the toxicities. So that's why we have the term spring cleaning in the States. Oh. So that includes detox during the winter, uh, during the spring months, as well as during fall. That's when people so, uh, do the detox. Kira ko palang magpa-check up sa'yo ulit kasi I am still doing a quarterly detox. So okay. do, you, do you think I should do it lesser now? Now that I'm healthier? Uh, you no. can do that. But uh, actually detox should be a when daily did. process. It should be. It should be. Uh, it should be something that we do on a daily process, because we are in. We encounter toxins on a daily basis, but you don't have to do all these uh, uh, detoxification procedures in a day. Uh, you could do it simply by, let's say, um, skipping a skipping a meal. That's what you do when you do intermittent fasting, or drink. Um, 
uh, certain nutrients that are good for your liver, such as uh, green tea or curcumin. Uh, exercise is a good way of detoxification because you eliminate toxins through the sweat. So a lot of different ways. And probably staying away from uh, reading the news because <laughs> that's also toxicity. If you, yeah, it's stressful. <laughs> Yeah. So, Anton, I wanted to ask the good doctor um, about detoxification and boosting our immune system. No, uh, uh -huh. I, I'm pretty sure it's very important. Doc, can you expound, maybe? Uh, pardon me. Can you say that? Oh yeah. De uh, detoxification. Um, yeah. How detoxification can actually boost your our immune systems? Yeah. Actually, the immune system has to deal with a lot of things on a daily basis. Like it has to uh, take care of toxicities, it has to take, take care of tumors, as well as infections. So if you eliminate the toxins through detoxification, then your immune system could focus on what's really important, which is at this point uh, fighting off the uh, virus uh, COVID-19. So that's why uh, detoxification uh, really helps uh, with the immune system by basically reducing its Reducing its work. Okay, I uh, I have a phone in question. Dito sa tabi ko. Um, okay. If you're trying to get pregnant, um, nag effective ba tun detoxification before para you have a higher effectivity of getting pregnant? Yeah, I would recommend that for those who are getting pregnant because, like, uh, for instance. Uh, women who get pregnant are advised to stay away from eating fish during the first three months because of mercury toxicity. So um, that because that could ultimately affect the baby. So ideally, uh, for people who plan to get pregnant, you want to make sure that you detox, you detoxify first. Okay. Oh, so I have an experience with that. Anton, I have an experience with that. I just wanted to share. You. Uh, there was this a lady, you know, she wanted to get pregnant, but she went, she underwent a detox, but couldn't get pregnant again. And then apparently it was the, the husband that had problems. So he had to go through a detox. And when they were both cleared, that's when they had the baby. So doc, possibly pala yun. So it has to be like, if you're getting, trying to get pregnant, pareho dapat yung babae sa kanyang lalaki gagawa ng detox. Yes, ideally, ideally. <laughs> Okay, um, let's have a photo. Uh, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. And then if there's none, we'll close that discussion. Let's Wait, have a photo. I have another question last. Okay, sige. Doc, I remember kasi my doctor, uh, he told me once before when they discovered that I had a fatty liver, na hindi ko na raw yun ma... Uh, how do you say it? Hindi ko na siya ma reverse Ah, uh, so takot na takot ako. I was so afraid because mm -hmm. it's it's your ano, it's your filter of your body. So mm -hmm. I didn't want to go through life like that. And then mm -hmm. I just want everyone to know that it's possible to reverse it. Tama ba jo? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So before you do the um, uh, incorporate this um, um, thermogenic substances, ideally you want to do an ultrasound first, and then after let's say, going on the program just so that you have something objective to show to friends or family. But uh, there are things that could actually reverse fatty liver, and that includes the use of substances such as uh, L-carnitine, which is an amino acid that helps burn off fat, not just in the subcutaneous tissue, but also in, the, in our liver. And oh, capsule. You you? Yeah. Absolutely. yeah, it's available in capsule form or... Um, liquid or powder form, but it also could be given intravenously. This L carnitine. You, you mentioned L carnitine, doc. Ayan yung nakukuha sa karne, no? sa, sa protein of the meat. Yeah, it's uh, from grass fed beef. Grass fed beef, all right. And then, yeah, you can, I remember, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I totally forgot my question. <laughs> Wait, uh, so we have some uh, wa uh, listeners here. Thanks, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have any more questions, Dito, on detox? Ikaw, mukhang expert ka sa detoxification. <laughs> yeah, alam mo, kaya ako, kaya ako, ano, that's the reason I know a lot about detoxification is because of Joel. So you guys, if you need to know a lot about 
your body. Uh, I suggest you follow him on Facebook or Instagram for uh, you know a lot of information. I I just devour his page with information, and when I need to call him, I call him directly because we're friends. Sorry. So you know <laughs> benefits, diba? So. Uh, Ayun, um, I'm just so happy na ayun nga, it's possible to do this and it's possible to reverse a fatty liver. Uh, so yung mga tao dyan na hindi alam na pwede palang mangyari yun, you know, just leave your comments and ask us through this live stream to if you have any questions about that. Even Ito, may question. Me. May question. How many milligrams per day of ilcarnitin? Uh, 1,000. To a thousand milligrams per day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I now remember my question about L carnitine. Because uh, I remember one time when we were sitting down in your office, you told me that I cannot totally um, give up uh, give up meat. meat. Yeah. Because I was trying to get on a plant based diet, and then you said um, you, we have to check your blood type, and mm -hmm. I. I I think at the time I was B positive. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what you said, but then I remember in one of your articles you said na yung type blood type O ba doc yung hindi yeah. pwede magpergo. They cannot go vegan. Okay, so ako ba can I go vegan? Can I go vegan? Uh, you could, but uh, again, you have to consider if you have any um, borderline nutritional deficiencies. Because some people who go vegan or vegetarian could end up with vitamin B12 deficiency. And then if you do not have a, a, a good diet, then you may end up gaining weight. Because again, L-carnitine comes from meat. And if you don't have enough L-carnitine, you don't burn body fat. So I take, uh, no, I take a protein shake. I take whey from grass-fed cows. Mm -hmm. Does that help me? Yeah, if I don't want to ingest like slabs of steak, pwede bang yun na lang, doc? Yeah, you <laughs> could do that. And actually, it's better for some people who like to take like a certain essential amino acids than eating meat or whey protein because it's actually um, more absorbable. And okay. you only have to take like five tablets compared to, let's say, eating uh, how many... Uh, servings of meat to get the actual nutrients. Okay. Because, Wait, you know, if, if you eat a lot of meat, Anton? Oh, my. We have a because, question. Yeah, eating a, a lot question? of meat, by the way, makes you more acidic as well. More acidic. Okay, we so we'll have, have a question. Oh, okay. What are the effects of detox? Is it even recommended for those with an active lifestyle? Example, those who exercise regularly, say, 5 to 10 kilometers of running a day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, if you're doing that already, then you're detoxifying already through the sweat. However, athletes still have to have uh, good nutrition because you actually generate a lot of free radicals during the process of exercise. So it's important that you take uh, your antioxidants because uh, if you don't have enough antioxidants, that would create cell damage. And um, you know how with uh, more cell damage, it could actually lead to tumors and eventually cancer. Okay. All right. Wow. Right. That was very informative. Huh? Uh -huh. So, so from, yeah. So Anton, I'm very excited for the next series of Awesome Me Talks, Anton. Ano ba yung ano natin, line-up natin? Marami dyan, di ba? Oh, yes. Um, so on uh, on Thursday, we're talking to Robbie. <laughs> uh, and next week, uh, we'll have uh, Doc Joel again on Tuesday, 2 p.m. Well, what are we talking about dito? I think we're gonna talk about alkalinization and gut health. So, nagbabasa na ako, Joe, para meron ako mga tatanong sa'yo. So, I'm getting okay. ready for that. And then, um, I'm also excited about uh, this cookbook. It's called Soup Cleanse. Um, mm, okay. As you can see, medyo pinusit ko na yung mga ginagawa ko. Yung mga, uh, and uh, we were able to invite the author, Nicole Centeno, from New York City. So, she's the, the wow. founder of the Spoon. Mm. So I'm so excited about that, Anton, because uh, I've tried her recipes and they're so good. I'm just localizing it to our uh, the, to the available <laughs> ingredients. Yeah. 
Right. Uh, okay. Can we have one photo lang before we close? One, two. Okay, one more, Doc. One, two. Wait, ah. One, two. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Um, Thank you. Any final thoughts, Doc, on uh, the topic of detoxification? <clears throat> yeah, so uh, it's ideal that we detoxify on a daily basis so that our bodies would be healthy and uh, able to fight off uh, any type of pathogen from our surroundings. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Tito. Thank you, Dr. Joel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Thank you.